In this week's episode of Back to Basics with Evernote, we're going to stack notebooks. Hello, my name is Carl Pauline and in this second part of my Back to Basics series with Evernote, I want to show you how you can stack notebooks in Evernote. Now the reason why you might want to stack notebooks in Evernote is because you want to be able to keep clean edges between your working life and your personal life or you want to keep things in a little bit more organized structure. Now one of the complaints I often hear about Evernote is that there isn't much hierarchical structure in the notebooks itself. There is a lot of hierarchical structure in the tags and when we get to tags in this Back to Basic series I'll show you how to do that. But in notebooks there is a basic hierarchical structure that you can use and I'm going to show you that in today's episode because I find notebook stacking really useful. Now the way I use stacking generally is for my projects, my current projects, the projects that I'm working on at the moment. So as some of you may already know I like to, I write books and I also have a few projects, workshop projects that I'm working on for both my work here in Korea and my work in productivity. So what I want, what I like to do is keep these things nicely clean and under a stacking system. So what I want to do is in this second part of Back to Basics is to show you how you can stack these notebooks in Evernote because it really does help to keep the interface nice and clean and nicely organized. Now before we go into that what I would like just to ask you guys is this week I've launched or last week I launched a new free online course on Udemy called the Com Beginner's Guide to Getting Yourself Organized. What I would really like to do is if you haven't already signed up for this course please go ahead and sign up because I really want to help you to become more organized and more productive. I should say better organized and more productive. Becoming more productive and being more organized is such a fantastic feeling. You have so little stress, you get so much more done and you feel so much better about yourself and I really want to help as many people as I can to become more organized and better productive. Actually that's the other way around better organized and more productive. I will get it right one day. So please sign up for that course if you haven't. I put the link in there. It's completely free and there is a special offer at the end if you want to take advantage of the special offer. Also before we move on please if you like this video click on the like button below and if you haven't subscribed to this channel please just click on the subscribe button for me. That really helps me. Okay let's go into Evernote and I'll show you how to stack your notebooks. Right, so here we have the notebooks that we set up last week. We have the inbox which is set as our default notebook, then we created a work notebook and a personal notebook. Now as I mentioned in last week and I mentioned in the introduction, stacking is something that can really help to maintain a little bit of organization within your notebooks. Now just before we move into that, what I wanted to show you while we're in this view is we have uh, two buttons up here on the top right hand corner. We have a square button which is this view and then we have this view. Now at this point with only the, th the three projects and my trash can, this view does not look to be that great. But once you start getting quite a lot of notebooks, if you decide to use notebooks and you have a lot of notebooks in here, then actually this view generally starts to look the better view. But for now, let's stick to this one because this is the most common view I see on other videos around on YouTube. So what we have here now is my inbox, my work and my personal. So we're going to click on the work and sorry, what we're going to do. <laughs> so we're going to look at the work. I'm doing that wrong. What we're going to do now is I'm going to create two more notebooks. So what I'm going to do is I've got here uh, project one and I'm going to create that and I'm going to create another new one called project two. 
So the, I've now created project one. Oops, I don't know why we've got, let me just, by the way, to rename a project, all I'm gonna do is hit the control key. It asks me if I want to rename this notebook. It allows me to, and I can get rid of that one. There we go. So now I've got project one and project two. And what I want to do is I want these projects inside my work folder. And so what I'm gonna do is, because these are related to work, all I have to do is drag and drag it on top. I'm going to drag number two and I'm going to drag it on there. And all that's going to happen now is my work is going to change its name to work stack. So inside my work uh, notebook now I have work, which could be just my general reference materials. And then I've got project one and project two. And this is a really good way of keeping all your notebooks nice and simple because one of the things that you could end up doing if you're not careful is you have a load of work projects like saying here these are related to work S sitting amongst all your personal projects related to your vacations and stuff like that now one of the things that i'm sure you don't want to be reminded of when you're on vacation is you don't want to be reminded of work so you can actually keep these nicely out of the way in a work stack. You don't even have to open it. They're out of the way. And then in your personal one, you can actually create your own vacations and uh, um, should, bucket list and put all your personal goals and things like that inside your personal notebook. So that's essentially how we stack. So let's just go. Uh, I'll just show you that one again so that you know. So we create another one, uh, holiday, because I'm British and we don't use the word vacation. Holiday 2017, that's one folder. New notebook, holiday 2018, because of course we've got to start planning that. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag that in to my personal stack. And then I have my two personal projects in there. Nicely keeping things really simple in the big overall view. Now, of course, if you don't want to stack them, that's perfectly okay. Just to show you in here, if you've got it in stacks, uh, when you've got it in this view, in the kind of list view, then again, you just double click and it will open them up. Again, this is one of the reasons why I actually like this view in general, because I can see and you can keep them all open. So as you can see here, I've got my work stack, which is open. My personal stack is open. If I'm on holiday, I can just double click that and close my work stack so I don't have to look at it. And then I've just got my personal notes in there. This, as I say, is one of my favorite uh, views in, to, in Evernote. But if you prefer the more the grid view, then that's perfectly okay, entirely up to you. So that's essentially how we stack or the easiest way to stack your notebooks. So hopefully you've got something out of this. Next week, we'll go into a little bit more detail on tagging. But for now, that's all I wanted to show you today. I hope you found this useful. And if you have any questions about Evernote or there is anything specifically you would like me to cover, then please leave a comment in the comment section below and I will be more than happy to cover that for you. Thank you very much for watching this episode. I wish you all a very, very productive week. Thank you.